Yeah, well, hello. My name is Chris Ramsey and welcome to The Shift. I would love to share more stories about the magic products with you today. So hopefully you can join us. And this is brought to you by murphysmagic.com. Auf Wiedersehen. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back once again to The Shift. My name is Chris Ramsey and I'm happy to have you here. This week we have a pretty special show for you guys. We're looking at three different products as well as we'll be talking about some other stuff. So stay tuned for that. But before we get into that, let's announce the winner of last week's contest. We were giving away the Vanishing Pen by Sands Mines. And the winner of that is Aaron Payne Magic 101. Congratulations. I was probably supposed to do the drum roll before. Aaron, congratulations. Send us a message on Facebook, so facebook.com slash Murphy's Magic Supplies, and we'll get that out to you ASAP. To win this week's prizes, and there are numerous ones, there's Imprint, Canic, and MSP. To win these three prizes, simply comment below what you thought about the tricks, what you thought about the videos, what you thought about the products, and like this video, and I will pick one of you guys next week to take home these prizes. Coming up in the month of June, we have an amazing and astounding lecture. I think I talked about this a bit last week. We have Kashan Wallace coming up very, very soon. And uh, Kashan, if you don't know him, he's a very creative dude. Super creative. He actually had like one creation a day on his, on his YouTube. He even did a 24 hours of magic where he would create an effect every hour for 24 hours. So, you know, I don't even know how that's possible. So if you guys want to know what type of effects that Kashan's created or what he's working on now, Stay tuned for the At The Table live lecture hosted by Greg Wilson, which will be, I think, next Wednesday. This week, we will be having a look at three products. Last week, I only took a look at one, so I'm compensating. We'll be looking at, first and foremost, Imprint by Sans Minds. I think Imprint has been on a lot of people's minds lately, and there's been a lot of buzz, a lot of talking, and you know what? We're going to decipher all that and get to the bottom of what this effect is and how it plays. We'll also be looking at Canic, so another Sans Mines products. They're just they've just been pumping out effects um, by Nicholas Lawrence. And lastly, we'll be looking at MSP Mentalism Symbol Pack, which is a deck of cards uh, with mentalism symbols on it by Anton James. So without further ado, let's get into a quick performance of imprint I did for the camera, and we'll discuss that after this. Ever hear the expression "time is money"? Check this out. So imprint, my thoughts on imprint. First of all, this is not a trick you can do a walk around. I did a standing up version because I, this trick is made to be performed while seated, I think best. I don't perform at events where I'm seated. I don't know a lot of people that really do. So this doesn't make it that walk around friendly. So I try to adapt it and come up with my own handling where I can have it in the hands. And I thought I did a pretty good job. Um, it goes to show you, you know, sometimes when products are released, you can take those products and play around with them to the point that you can get comfortable with them and perform them in your style. That's just a, one example of where you can do that. So never be confounded by the constraints of the guidelines of a product so if the product says you know this is for this or this is for that play around with it man come up with your own thing and let you be the judge and you decide what you want to do with it so would I perform this in a walk around environment absolutely not um, I think it's a great visual trick I think it looks like trick photography if you want to impress some friends that are coming over to your place or if you want like they had a a video where they performed at a bar. I think a bar is a great place to perform this because you do need, I think, a little bit of low lighting, a little bit of sound. And I know how this all sounds, but I'm just trying to be truthful. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, I really love the effect. I think it's visual. I don't think there's very much on the market that's as visual as this. But with that eye-popping goodness comes a bit of a burden comes you know angles comes lighting comes sound comes handling so it's a trade-off you know what I mean if you want that visual effect you're going to have to invest time you're going to have to invest uh, really practicing it a lot and getting the hang of it and coming up with you know something very powerful 
Once again, I would not perform this in a walk around situation. I would not feel comfortable. I would not perform this at a table either. That's just, uh, that's just me. And perhaps it's because I've not given this enough practice, uh, which is why I only did it for the camera. I didn't feel comfortable performing it for anyone else. Aside from that, um, the tips and tricks and how to build the gimmick and everything is supplied within. You do get something in the DVD package. Let me grab the DVD here. You do get something in here that allows you to do this and you need that, you need that device, that piece. And then after that you have some construct, uh, constructing to do and then you can make your own. So like on the DVD cover here, you know, there's a picture of a battery, you can put a battery in a bill, sweet and low, a little Rubik's Cube, a happy face, a dice, a heart. I mean there's all sorts of things that you can do and imagination is really, that's, those are your constraints is as far as you can think. But yeah, for me personally, I would only perform this on camera. And I know that sucks to hear, but you know what? In today's day and age, social media, uh, via Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, so many magicians are getting into just these visual tricks. And I think there's a market there. I think there's something to be said about these visual tricks that can, that can preferably be performed on camera. And that is these type of tricks, even though some people will claim they're camera tricks, some people will actually see it and be like, wow, that's amazing, I want to hire you. And so I think social media is a great outlet to get booked. And having this visual eye candy is perfect for that. So anyways, Imprint, check that out by Sans Minds and Jason Yu. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into an effect called Canic. So it's like Panic, but with a C. See what they did there? All right, don't Canic, don't Canic. Nicholas Lawrence and Sans Minds came out with an effect called Canic. And you know what? I will show you a quick performance that I did. And we'll talk about it after this. I just took six ripples off track. See the ripple can? See the tab here? Just like that. I'll count three. Watch this. One, two, three. As I said, that was a quick performance of Canic. First of all, I really want to stress something here. And I love Sans Minds, I love their products. I think they're one of the biggest innovators in terms of marketing and in terms of you know trailers and everything in the industry. And products as well. Um, one thing here that I kind of, that I disliked, I'll be honest, was Organic Miracle with borrowed soda can. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, the first thing you learn how to do on this DVD is to gimmick a soda can, so it is not borrowed. I'm gonna give you guys a definition of borrowed. Can I borrow an object? That's yours. Yes, here you go. When you hand them an object and then say, can I borrow that? That's not a borrowed object. That's your object that, you, that they just gave back to you. Now, if you wanna say it's borrowed on a TV show, and you say, oh, could you hand me a Red Bull can over there? And that's on the ground and they pick it up and they give it to you. That might be borrowed, but that's great for TV. When you're selling magic effects and you say something's borrowed and it isn't, then you shouldn't say that it's borrowed. That's my moral ethical dilemma on the matter. Like I said, I love Sands Minds, love everything they do. Um, I, I'm, even, I'm even cool with the sort of special effects they add on trailers, because I do think it adds a sort of another dimension to a trick um, from the layman's perspective. But this, however, says borrowed soda can when clearly the first thing they teach you how to do is to gimmick a soda can. Other than that, you are supplied with um, some things that allow you to make this possible. Uh, it's not a gimmick, it's multiple pieces that you have to construct. The construction is a good I would say 15 to 20 minutes, so it's it's pretty intense. Um, it's not, it's not for everyone constructing this thing because it does get a little bit frustrating. I was frustrated at points, but I must say, once I was done constructing and the gimmick was done, it worked for me and I had it in my hand, I was good to perform. I really started liking this effect more and more. And the reason is because there's this nice, beautiful subtlety that Nicholas came up with, which is when he, when he tears off the tab, from the Red Bull can. There's that beautiful, beautiful moment. I'm not gonna get into it uh, for, you know, I don't wanna reveal the trick or anything, but I love that. And if you watch the video back, I mean, you, you, you won't even know what to look for. 
That's what's so cool about it. So I think Canic is definitely a cool effect because it is organic, because it uses an object like a soda can. And by the way, it doesn't have to be a Red Bull can. It could be any type of can. Thanks once again to Sans Minds, Nicholas Lawrence. Check out Canic. Next up, guys, we have something called MSP by Anton James in the Magic Estate Mentalism Symbol Pack. What you get is a deck of cards. In this deck of cards, you will get some symbols. And if you're familiar with mentalism symbols, the traditional ones, you had those waves, you had the triangle, the square, the circle, the X, um, you know, these type of things. Very, very basic symbols. So it was shocking to me to know that no one had really innovated on that concept. And this is such a great idea. I love this. And the reason I love this is because what you create is limited to nothing. You can do anything with this. Um, there are really cool and hip pictures in here. Let me show you a few. I'll show you a few that I really dig and you probably know why. So, oh, look at this one. You got this wicked skull. See that? So you got things like keys, you know, stack of money. So very edgy and hip pictures. I think one of the best things about this is the fact that you can customize your own routine. What I would do is I would probably have about five or ten cards in my pocket at any one time and I would be ready to perform uh, a mentalism trick. And now what's great about that is that I can use all the slights that I've learned in card magic, such as peak steals, controls, this type of thing. Um, and I would use that to my advantage in mentalism. And the great thing about performing mentalism with billets and cards like this is People don't expect you to do sleight of hand because they think there's like a mind reading going on and you don't have a deck of cards, you just have some picture cards here. They're more like flash cards to them. And so you can get away with a lot right under their nose. So I definitely love that. My head is just spinning with ideas for routines and I'm sure I'm sure yours will too. So this is definitely worth checking out. I think it's retails at like $30 or something at your favorite magic shop. So definitely check out Mentalism Symbol Pack MSP by Anton James. I think this is one of the best innovations in mentalism recently. And I know that's a bold statement, but nothing, you know, everything that's already existing is sort of, is being re-put out, rehashed. And a lot of it's great, but this is like a 2.0 version of mentalism symbols. So I definitely think this is worthwhile. And I think you get a lot of mileage out of this. And I know that Anton has, and in the videos that he's presented with it, he goes uh, into detail about, you know, what the routines are, etc., etc. So check that out. Folks, that about wraps it up for me. Guess where I'm going tonight? I'm going to an escape room. Do you know what an escape room is? It's scary. It's they lock you up in a room with a group of friends and you have to get out. There's like riddles and all sorts of stuff and scary things that happen. So I'll be... I'll be probably releasing myself in my pants tonight in an escape room. Maybe I'll let you know how that goes. So thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the shift this week and it was a pleasure being able to review these products for you. I will see you guys next week. Take care, have fun for the rest of the weekend for, what, for whatever's left of it and uh, we'll see you guys next week. Alright, peace out.